What's going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Dustin. And last time we were here, what we did is we made it so that when our player touches our enemy or vice versa, our player dies and our scene um, reloads. So this time what I want to do is I want to change up how um, our player interacts with this enemy. I want to give our player a um, basically a health system. I want to make it so that whenever our enemy touches our player, it will subtract a certain amount of health from our player, and then once our player reaches zero health, then our scene will reload, and we can start over. Um, so yeah, if you are enjoying this series, please be sure to like and su subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification icon so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. So, first thing I want to do is I want to create a new script. So, in our scripts folder, I'm going to create a new C -sharp script. That is our scene folder, so I'm going to change that here in a second. Um, but I'm, I'm going to call this Health Manager. And once that compiles, I can first attach it to our player and then I can move this to our scripts folder because I put that in the wrong folder. So now if I go ahead and open up this health manager. What do we want to do? Um, so we need to keep track of a couple of things. We need to keep track of what our current health is. So I'm going to say uh, public float current health and then we also want to keep track of what our max health is so we're gonna say public float max health and actually I'm not gonna use float here I'm gonna use int because I don't want any situation where our um, health becomes 10.5 or whatever the case. I want it to be solid numbers throughout. <coughs> so now what do I want to do? I want to create a new function down below update and we're going to call this void hurt player with our open and close brackets and our open close curly brackets. And in this hurt player, really what we want to do is we want to say, um, well, first what I want to do in this curly bracket here, I want to tell it what we want to hurt it by. Um, so we're going to say int, and we're going to call this damage to gip. And then inside these brackets here, I want to say current health minus equals damage to give. And what that's going to do is just going to minus whatever this number is going to be from our current health. Um, another way that this could be written is current health is equal to current health minus damage to give. And that'll work just fine as well. It'll work exactly the same way. It's just this is a shorter way of doing it, doing this minus equals here, so we don't have to write all of this out. So now that we have that, we need to <coughs> um, figure out what this damage to give is going to be. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go on to our hurt player script that is on our enemy. And we're going to go down into this on collision enter uh, function here. And instead of uh, just automatically setting this to false, I'm going to go ahead and comment that out. Um, 
and we're going to say um, other dot game object dot get component and the component we want to get is our health manager and so what the saying is the other game object that we're colliding with we're going to get a component on that object we're going to tap into the health manager <coughs> and what we need is the um, what do we call it? Did we call it just hurt player? Yeah, we called it hurt player. So on our hurt player script, we're going to get the health manager script dot hurt player. Um, right here. Hurt player. Oh, you know something? That's why this is not working. So let's go back here. Let's go back into our health manager. We need to make this public so that we can access it. So this is a public void hurt player. And we want to get, we want a variable for, to tell what this damage to give is going to be. So first, now that that's public, we need to say dot hurt player. And in here, what we can do is we can just say, if we wanted to, we can say 10 damage, just like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and comment all of this reloading stuff out, just so we're not automatically reloading when um, we run into them. So if we go ahead and save this and save our health manager, go back into Unity. And now on our player, first thing we need to do is we need to set what the maximum health is going to be. And let's just say 50. And let's set our current health to 50 as well, so that we have full health. And if we hit play, now what's going to happen is once we run into our enemy, our current health should go down by 10. If we did this right, which it does. So every time we hit that, uh, every time we hit our enemy, our health goes down to 10, or goes down by 10. So now, see, once we get down to zero, it's still minusing that from our current health. So let's go ahead and fix that. So let's say on here, we're going to say if our current health is less than or equal to zero, then we're gonna say game object dot set active to false. And that should kill off our player. Let's go back and test that. Just like that. 40, 30, 20, 10, and 0, and our player is dead. So now we have this issue where we're not reloading anymore, and we're going to fix that in an upcoming video, because what's going to happen is if we put in that reloading uh, script, or that bit of script here, um, it's not going to work, because as soon as we set this game object to false, this health manager script is also set to uh, is set to inactive, which our um, our reloading little timer deal that we had going on is not going to work. So we're going to do that on a game manager script of sorts. And what we can do here is when we do that, we'll say something along the lines of game manager dot reload level something like that. But we don't have that script at the moment, so we can't do that now. So we're just going to leave that how it is for the moment. Um, but another issue that I noticed that we have is if we go ahead and hit play here. So our enemy can hit us, and we're, we lost some health. 
But now we're just, he's just sitting and pushing our player, touching our player, and we still have the same amount of health. I want to make it so that um, he can consistently hurt us, but I don't want to make it so that he is constantly hurting us. <clears throat> so, what I want to do is, on our hurt player script, I want to go down below our on collision enter, and I just want to say, um, void on, uh, oh, that's inside of our on collision enter, which is not where we want to do that. We want to do this below it, because we're going to say void on collision stay 2D. And the difference between on collision enter and on collision stay is on collision enter will uh, run this code as soon as we collide with um, our enemy. On collision stay will run this code as we're, uh, while we are actively touching our enemy. So I'm going to change this to other. And what I want to do is, instead of using these, because we're not going to be using this in this script here, I want to change this to wait to hurt, like that. And I'm going to give it just one second instead of two. I'm going to change this bool to is touching like that so now what I want to do is I want to say on collision stay is touching is equal to true and then up in our update function down below all this commented stuff we're going to say if is touching, then we want to count this timer down. So we're going to say basically what we did right here, but for our wait to hurt instead. Um, and instead of the scene manager, we're going to call this line of code right here as well. So. Let's go ahead and say wait to hurt uh, minus equals time dot delta time. And then if our wait to hurt is less than or equal to zero, we want to say other game object dot get component health manager dot hurt player. Oh, no, I don't want to cut that out. I want to copy it and paste that in right there. Um, that's not going to allow us to do it that way because we don't have, we're not in our on collision anymore. So what we're going to do is... We are going to create a reference up here for our health manager. We're going to just say private um, health manager. And we're just going to call this health man. Health man. So, and then here we can get rid of all of that and just say healthman dot hurt player and set that to 10. Um, and then once it gets to zero, we also want to reset our wait to hurt timer. So we can say wait to hurt equals one app, just like that. So now let's go ahead and save that. Go back into Unity, wait for it to compile, hit play. And let's see if this works. So 
if we walk over to our enemy, he gets hurt when we collide with them. And then object reference is not set to be instant. Oh, you know something? What we did not do is up in our start function, we did not tell it what this health manager actually is. So we're going to say health manager is equal to find object of type, and we want to find the health manager. Just like that. Save it again, go back into Unity. That null reference exception should go away, which it did not right away. Let's go ahead and clear that, see if it pops back up, which it should not. So let's hit play and look for that error and we did not get it good so now let's go over here and let's watch our current health over here so we got 40 30 20 10 0 perfect uh, I feel like that's a little fast so I'm just gonna change this to 2 and 2 save that Test that out one last time. Walk over to our enemy. 40, 30, 20, 10, and 0. Perfect. That is exactly how, how we want this to work. So now what I want to do is I want to make it so that we can choose... Um, how much damage our enemy is giving because this hurt player script is gonna is not only gonna be just on the skeleton enemy we're gonna use this for multiple enemies so we want to be able to change how much damage where each enemy is giving to our player so and the way we do that is we just create a new reference up here we're gonna call this we're gonna do our serialized field and we're going to say private uh, int, and we're going to just call it damage to give. And yeah, so we're going to call it damage to give. We're going to set this to 10 straight away so we don't get those errors. Oh, you know, we don't need the F because it's not a float. <coughs> and then wherever we put this 10, we can get rid of the 10 and just say damage to give. Right there and right there. So now if we save that, go back into Unity and on our skeleton enemy, we now have this damage to give that is automatically set to 10, but we can still change this to whatever we want. So we can have this at 10, let's hit play. Make sure that's still working properly and we didn't break anything. Just like that, look at our player. Damage is going down, or health is going down. And we die, and our level does not reload because we haven't set that back up yet. Um, and now we can change this, let's say 25, and that should only take two hits for us to die. Oh, you know something? I just hit the play button for no particular reason, so I'm going to do that one more time. So 25, go up to our player so we can see our health, and walk over to him. 25 down and zero. Perfect. So I think that's going to do it for this video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification icon so you get notified every single time that I upload a new video. Please post a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the series. Let me know if you have any questions. And I will try and get back to you as quickly as I can. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.